our hood is joining me in studio. Now he's going to introduce us to this very interesting new initiative that he has just started. Hello. Hey, good to be here. Good to have you here. Now, I mean, the last time I spoke to you or heard of you, you were working on Name Your Hood, and now it's Our Hood. Yeah. So why don't you tell us about the transition between the two? Yeah, sure. So Name Your Hood was a project that we started four years ago, back in 2011. And the thesis and the aim behind it was very simple. We want to do crowdsource people to help to name neighborhoods and right. create identities for neighborhoods um, with the ultimate aim of building stronger and better connected neighborhoods through using digital. Um, and that's what we've done. We've now launched Our Hood, which has grown out of Name Your Hood. Mm -hmm. And it is a private digital platform for neighborhoods. So historically, there's never been a way for neighbors to share information or to, or to catch up or do anything, really. We've got WhatsApp and um, Facebook for our social right. lives. But there's never been anything for neighbors, which particularly in South Africa is such a key element and something that digital can do so easily. So we've created our hood, and the way it works is they are micro neighborhood sites mm -hmm. for very clearly defined neighborhoods, and only residents of those neighborhoods can actually be part of the our hood platform. So we verify that every single person who comes onto the site mm -hmm. does in fact live where they say they do, and then once they're in, they have access to this private group where conversations are very clearly structured around different sections. So there's a section where you can report just crime, for instance, and only, only your residents then are getting those crime messages. Different section to buy, sell, lend, borrow things. You know, you're always looking for in a block of flats, you might need an electric drill or something. Ask your neighbors. You know, historically, we have no way to ask them, but yeah. rather than going to buy something, um, just ask them for that spare ladder or something you need. It seems like such an easy solution. I can't believe no one has done this until now. Well, yeah, <laughs> they, they, no one's done it here. Right. It's, it's been done very successfully mm -hmm. in the States. Um, there's a site there called nextdoor.com that's in what, about 50,000 neighborhoods across wow. the whole of the U.S., but never anything done in, in Africa. So we actually live in South Africa now, and we've had interest from and good sites in Namibia, Botswana, Kenya. Wow. So it's growing very quickly. Wow. Yeah. Now, what makes this different than, say, just a Facebook group for your neighborhood? Um, well, first of all, Facebook don't verify anyone's physical address. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of these so-called closed Facebook groups, which really aren't closed and can't actually limit them just to certain people in a neighborhood. So that's the first thing. And then secondly, Facebook is not designed for neighborhood interaction. So there's no way of structuring the conversations. Facebook is a long, linear stream of messaging um, where you can't store information, you can't have different categories. Right. Um, so our side, for example, if you post a message in the crime section, every single neighbor gets an SMS and an email uh, paid for by us to inform them that something has happened, and then they can then go into the site and have a look at it. None of that is, is available on, on Facebook. Wow. Of course, this is local. It's made in South Africa for, exactly. for Africa. So support local. Now, and this sounds like it's going to be great for all those neighborhoods who are really gung-ho on their neighborhood watch, especially with the crime section. But what other sections are involved in our hood? So there are a whole bunch. There's mm -hmm. just a simple notice board where you can post, like an old school notice board. You can find your lost pets. You can ask for babysitter referrals, anything. Mm -hmm. So that's in the notice board okay. section. Then all your important numbers for the neighborhood are stored. So literally from your, from your phone, it's a click and call. So you have access to all those numbers right there. You don't have to save any of the numbers. That's all right there. We also have a section called um, local deals where businesses can target just that particular neighborhood. So the deals that are relevant just to you in wherever you might be. So it's the most targeted and relevant advertising. Mm -hmm. And I think key for users is that you don't have to log into any of these sections. Um, it's not invasive. So the advertising is not in invasive. And you can choose where you want to dip in or out as you, as you sort of see fit. Um, there's also a section where you can get everything delivered to your home. From like what? Like pet food, um, nappies if it might be, find a nanny, all of that. Sounds convenient. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's ordering from the comfort of your, of your home and from your phone. And it's just safe and it's just for things, you know, order that dry meat that you haven't got at the last minute, yeah. whatever it might be. You can do all from your, from your phone. And then there's an event diary. So for every neighborhood, you can have your own neighborhood diary where you can post things like the next street spry or beach cleanup or um, whatever it might be mm -hmm. you can post to and just see just your neighborhood diary. It's interesting because it's almost taking that community and putting it online where we all live now so it's just really a huge convenience factor. Has it launched in Cape Town? Yeah it's launched in Cape mm -hmm. Town. Um, we actually got about 700 neighborhoods now around the mm -hmm. country 
and we've been asked to add at least 10 a day. So the Jeez. requests are coming in from everywhere, although we haven't really started the massive sort of marketing yeah. drive. Our apps launch next week, iOS and Android. Wow. Um, but yeah, word's getting out and people need it. I think that's the key yeah. thing we're finding is that the response is so great because there's such a huge need. And in the absence of anything else, people have to use WhatsApp and have to use right. Facebook none of which are designed for what they actually need. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of reception have you been getting from actual users on the ground? Um, very, very positive. Mm. I think people, as you, as you mentioned, are quite surprised it's taken so long for this to actually happen. Mm -hmm. But the users that are there, um, we get such great t testimonials from people who literally have found a lost pet or have been informed about a crime or have actually used, I mean, personally, I sold a washing machine through it. Did you? To somebody who lives you know, two blocks down from me. <laughs> And it's just, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been quite too mind-blowing, really, the response. Wow. Are you planning to launch in other South African cities? Yeah, so we're in pretty much in, in most of them at the moment, mm -hmm. or we're getting there. Yeah. And um, for us, the big target, obviously, is going to be for the rest of Africa, too. But for the moment, and probably for this year, we really want to focus and build a massive community in, mm -hmm. in South Africa. Okay, now, how do people find you online? How do they become part of their community, even though they're already part of that community, yeah. but how do they bring that online? It's really simple. You just go to ourhood.co.za, um, fill in your address, and you'll be allocated to a neighborhood, um, your neighborhood, and then you just need to be verified. And the easiest way is just to upload a utility bill straight onto the system, take a photo from your phone, upload it, um, our back office team then sees it, make sure that mm -hmm. you do live where you say you do. They let you in, and then it's all up to you to connect with your neighbors and to, and to start um, really driving, driving awareness about it and to, to connect. Mm -hmm. Now, I must ask you, because I think a lot of people watching this video are concerned about security, and you say all you yep. have to do is upload that utility bill. Are there any other kinds of checks and processes? What if someone has had their mail stolen and they're worried about um, a criminal entering their group? Yeah, so there, there are a few ways that we sort of get around that. The one is um, you can also choose, I didn't mention you have a postcard sent to your house, but if that's been stolen or you haven't got a utility bill, we're working with so-called leads in every neighborhood mm -hmm. who generally would know a lot of people in the neighborhood or have access to a local um, policing group or neighborhood watch group, and they can also be part of that verification process. Um, and people can report posts. So if somebody that they suspect is in who shouldn't be in, mm -hmm. they can just report it straight to us and we can delete them from the system. Um, and the system is very, the back end is almost more sophisticated than the front end. Wow. And that obviously it's, it's um, so important that people do feel safe and feel free to share things that might be of a quite a private nature. If you would like to join Our Hood, you can go on over to ourhood.co.za. And if you're already a member, let us know what you think of it in the comments section below this video.